Can you hear me? Good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you too. Okay, very good. Welcome. How are you today? Thank you. I'm okay. Happy to begin. Good, very good. Are you guys home? Yes. Yeah. Or are you still in your office? No. Home. I am at home. Okay, that is your private office. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So welcome. Uh, my name is Francisco, and we're going to be working together from Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m. Okay. And where do you guys live? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, really? What part of yes. Santana? In the um, Colonial Palmar. Okay, very good. And you also work in Santana? Yes, I work at Unicaes. Oh, do you teach? Yes, I teach. Good. What, what subjects do you teach? Uh, biology. Good, very good. Nice. Good. Yeah. Good, nice. What about Mr. Vides? Hi. I'm from Macahucla. Okay. And I work in the port in Sepa. Oh, good. What do you do there? I work as a supervisor. Okay, good. And how much time have you been there, Luis? How much? What? How much time have you been there? Uh, 30 years, yeah. 13? Yeah. Okay, good. So you are from Acajutla too? Yeah. Okay, so you are from there and you work there? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, very good. What about Mr. Eduardo Antonio? Uh, well, I live in Ciudad Merliot, here in Santa Tecla. I work in Santa Tecla. Okay. And, well, uh, I, well, I have four years in, in, in the boat enterprise. Uh, I work in Reasa and Taco Plus. Okay. Taco Plus, that's where they make plastic products, huh? Plastic products. All, all kind of plastic products. Uh, chairs, tables, uh, squeeze, um, lunch boxes. And some other some other stuff that I well I I kind of when when they say me we have uh, any particular uh, item in the inventory it's kind of it's kind of silly because I don't know all all of, all our uh, all Stop. our products uh -huh. yes yes that's right. Okay, good. Now, is that the company that is in front of Molsa? No? No, where, oh, no, where, no. Where, where is the company located? Uh, it's like in Colonia Las Delicias in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay, good. All right, good. Well, um, All right. when we have the conferences, I'm going to be located in two different places. Like right now, I'm in the office, uh, but I live in Lourdes, Colón. So it depends if my, let's say, I don't know if I'm going to be here, if I'm going to be in my house at 8 o'clock. So sometimes you sometimes. will see me here, sometimes you will see me there. 
Okay. All right. All right. Good. So, Teresa, okay. can you tell me a little bit why you want to uh, master the language? Why do you want? Why are you interested in English? Well, um, I always wanted to to learn to speak English, and um, sometimes I took some courses, but uh, I. Um, I can't speak it fluently, so I wanted to improve my English, and uh, I knew about this opportunity from from a friend of mine who told me, and uh, I want to learn. I need to learn because in my job it's very important to speak in English. Good, very good, very good. What about Louis? Why are you interested in learning more English? Well, about me, because I want to improve with my English skills, and because it helped me to work on boys also. Okay, good. And Eduardo, why do you want to improve? Well, in, well, in my case, is uh, well, I believe it's in my accent. I sound like a Latino guy. I don't have a qualification or a specification to talk a, like a fluent. Okay. Or, or native. 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 So, okay. Well, you, you see. Well, you see and you hear. Okay, that's fine. And, and that's the reason why we are taking the class. So we can learn, we can practice, we can learn something new each day. Yes. Yeah. And just like the famous yeah. expression, practice makes perfect, you know. Yeah. And mistakes are necessary. Right. You know, mistakes is is something that we need. So yeah. when you're making mistakes, that, that's a very good sign that you guys are trying, that you guys are in the process of learning. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are fine. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Thanks. one question. Um, how many people do you see connected? Uh, four. Four, and who's, who is Roberto? Is Ro Roberto, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. Uh, I'm sorry, I hadn't seen uh, the, your name on the screen. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Robert? Well, I'm interested in practice a lot of English as well, and uh, in, in, in also improve my English skills. Okay. And start to learn from, well, let's say technical documents in English. That's the reason why I keep myself studying and then okay good and where are you located robert right now i'm located in uh, san salvador el salvador okay very good and where do you work robert well i work for a company which is in charge of uh distributing electrical equipment okay to the distribution companies to okay. the electrical distribution companies like IS or uh, at the sal or at the sal, those type of companies. Okay, so your company makes these products and then they distribute. Exactly. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Robert. Okay, um, now um, did you guys have the chance to visit the platform? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and what was the first topic that the lady mentions? Who can, who can refresh my memory? Uh, the topic is about a bears followed by Jerome or something okay. like that. Okay, good, good. Um, let me ask you this. Um, do you think you need grammar for communication or do you need grammar to speak good, to have good communication? What do you think? It's necessary in both ways. Okay. Because sometimes, sometimes we we have something that we want to say, but we don't know how to say it in a correct form. Uh -huh. I hear some some background noise. I, um, it sounds like a television. Um, maybe it's maybe it's my room. I will change. Uh, just let it if you have to if that's fine that's fine that's okay okay so 
Luis, what is your opinion about grammar? Well, um, I think it's necessary uh, to work with the grammar, um, with the, I don't know how, how will be your way to teach English in this English course. But normally we have, we have been working with the grandma and the teacher has been teaching how to speak in the right way. Sure. But I think you have to teach both grandma and how to speak very sure. well. Sure. And according to the mistake, you will be saying what we are, what we are, what it is okay, what it's not okay. Sure, that, that's for sure. And, and that's why, you know, I take notes so I can give you guys feedback after you guys have like your interventions. So yes, we will be practicing different things. Uh, well, as you know, there is a platform that we need to use uh and most important you guys have to do the exercises that we have there because yeah. all, all the exercises that you guys do are being evaluated so it is necessary that you guys comply with that part okay right so we will be doing different things we'll be doing some speaking we'll be doing grammar uh the platform has uh listening activities as well so you know, like when you're doing things like this, you have pros and cons, you know, like because you're in your home, you're very comfortable and everything. But then we have to be like very disciplined because nobody's going to be telling us like, do this, do that. So, but yeah. that is good. That is good that you guys are connected uh, right now. Eduardo, what is your opinion about grammar? Well, it's very important because yeah, once one syllable, one vocal can change all uh, all the, the the meaning of the of the sentence, or what I uh, what I can tell, can do, can uh, can express. Okay, good. And Robert, what do you think? What is your opinion about grammar? Well, if we are talking about grammar, it's Truly important because uh, all the expressions, all the phrases that you use in English must be based on grammar. Because if not, you can probably lead uh, when, when you're talking to, with someone. You can lead to a misunderstanding, or you can even offend to the people that you're talking to, or to the person that you're talking to when right. you're when you're talking in English, of course. Right, right. Now, do you guys remember the differences between denotation and connotation? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> because uh, Robert, Robert says something very important, like we need to be careful when we're talking, because if not, we might be sending the wrong message and there might be a misunderstanding. So denotation is the real meaning of the word. In connotation is how people use it. It's like when we talk Spanish, some of the words that we use here in El Salvador may have a different meaning in other countries and vice versa. So denotation, connotation is really, really important and we have to be careful with that. Good, very good. Now, uh, the topic we're talking about how to use certain verbs that are followed by gerunds, right? Yeah. And the reason why I was asking you about your opinion about grammar is that um, grammar is important, but our main goal is to communicate ideas so we can understand other people and uh, other people can understand us. Now, but if we can do it well by using grammar, that will be even better i mean that's better. like the best thing so don't worry much about grammar because i mean like we all make mistakes i make mistakes native speakers they make mistakes so don't worry if you make mistakes at the end what we want is to be able to communicate our ideas right so what can you tell me about um the verbs that we mentioned in the lesson about which ones are used by a gerund followed by a gerund do you have any questions related to the lesson? 
Well, in my case, I have a problem because when I was checking the, the platform and I wanted to, to continue with some other part of the lesson, uh, I get a message that say that I can do that and I ask by WhatsApp and they, sh they give me some, uh, some indications, but I, I didn't fix the, the problem. Okay, so you were watched, were you able to finish watching the video? Uh, the, I think it was the first one. Okay, so, so what exactly was the problem? Teresa. They say, they say, they told me that it's uh, a problem with the settings of the uh, the Firefox, and they they show me how to fix it, but I I can I couldn't do you that. You couldn't. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fine. Uh, what about Eduardo? Um, do you do you have any any questions related with the verbs that are followed by gerunds? Yeah, really, I. I can saw the, the video because I reset the password. I have so problem because uh, we have uh, two two different emails accounts in our in our job, and it's not the uh, the lady that made me my register in in, re, in human resource. Uh, uh -huh don't set the, the 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 main the main account so i today i really does, doesn't you didn't have time nothing at all nothing at all about the about the about the, the subject but i uh, when 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 we finish the, the the meeting i i will go to the to the class Okay, very good. Now remember, when we're, we're when we are saying something in past tense, you should say I couldn't do it. I couldn't okay. access. I couldn't finish my homework. So if you're using something in past tense, it's better when you say couldn't. Okay. Okay. okay and and right. Robert, uh, what about you? Unfortunately, I didn't have uh, enough time to to verify for it, but I will do it uh, after the, the session. After okay. the session. All right, good. So in the video, um, uh, the girl, she's mentioning uh, verbs that when you combine them with another verb, this second verb <laughs> is supposed to be used in a gerund form. Now remember that gerund is the same as ing. So I enjoy staying in my house on weekends. I enjoy riding my bicycle in the park. So if you're using the verb enjoy, the following verb is supposed to be with the ing form, right? So enjoy is one of them. Um, she also mentions dislike. Now, can you mention something that you dislike? For example, uh, uh -huh. I dislike going to bed too late or okay. going late to bed. <laughs> Good. So you consider yourself to be a, an early bird. Something like that. Say it with me. I don't like going to bed late. Good, very good. Not too late. Okay, very good. Nice. Um, Robert, can you give me a sentence using dislike? I dislike uh, traffic jams. You dislike? Traffic jams. Uh, what is that? A traffic jam, it's when there's a lot of oh, traffic, okay. Okay. traffic jam. Very good. Yes, I think we all dislike traffic jams. Nobody likes that. Now, can you give me an example of using dislike and then the second part can be another verb? Because traffic jam is a noun. Okay. 
maybe I dislike spending time in a traffic jam. That could be it. I dislike spending time in a traffic jam. Okay. But as, uh huh. But as well, I I dislike uh, peop, uh, that the people is always being uh, impatient in traffic jams. Exactly. That's very typical in Salvadorian culture driving. Mm -hmm. People want to get there really, really fast. <laughs> get away. Okay, Luis, can you give me an example with this like? Uh, I dislike. I dislike uh, eat, eating junk food. Okay, I dislike eating junk food. Okay, fine. But junk food is delicious. Yeah, yeah it's delicious, <laughs> but not healthy. It's not healthy. <laughs> it's true. It's true. What, what is your favorite uh, junk food, Luis? Uh, I can say pupusas. <laughs> oh, but pupusas is not junk food. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eduardo, what is your favorite junk food? Oh, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. And Teresa? The same hamburgers. Oh, okay, good. Now, we're going to use another one. And um, they mentioned, don't mind. The ones that we're mentioning right now, they're just for reference. If you take a look at, um, and if you start reading more in other uh, books or something, you will see that there is a big list of verbs that are followed by gerunds. So the ones that we're using right now is just for reference. Uh, she mentions also don't mind. When do you use the expression don't mind? Fernando Moran, can you answer that one? Hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, a little bit tired. Okay, it's good to have you here. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, I, I think that we can use uh, I don't mind when you try to say something that uh, you don't care. For example, uh, for me, I don't mind uh, spending time on the traffic jam because we know that that is a, a must we we know that the, uh, the, the we we can control the the traffic okay good good what about maribel can you give us an example of don't mind Can you hear me, Maribel? Hi. How are Hi. you? Yeah, fine, fine. So you were very quiet. You were just listening to us, huh? <laughs> you don't ask to me. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I hadn't seen the people that were connected. I'm going to start in, in everybody. So can okay. you give us an example of don't mind? Uh, I don't mind. Uh, Working very late. Okay, you don't mind working very late. Uh huh. Okay. What, ab what about Freddy? Freddy, what can you tell us? Good evening. Um, could Good evening. be, um, for example, don't mind your bad opinion about me. All right, fine. Anybody else? Fernando? <laughs> I, I don't think that's for us. Hi. Okay, anybody else wants to give an example about don't mind? Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Nidia. Nidia, how are you, Nidia? Very well, I'm new in this group. Very good, welcome. Thank you, and I don't mind eating lasagna every day. Okay, nice, nice, very good. So you like Italian food? Yes, I love Italian food. Do you cook? Discuss your answers. Excuse me? Do you cook? No. You don't cook? No, sorry. 
Okay, it's okay. What about Karen Morales? Can you give us an example we don't mind? Hi, good evening. Good uh, evening, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. I don't mind staying late at office. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I don't mind staying late at the office. All right, good. Cecilia, okay. Cecilia Vigueta, are you there? Por qué? Cecilia, can you hear me? Okay, I, I guess not. Okay, but well, let's see what we have. All right. Now, and here is the part, here's the funny part where you guys have to be careful because in some cases, there are some verbs that must be followed by a gerund. In some cases, you have some verbs that can be followed by a gerund and they can also be followed by an infinitive. So you have the two forms. Um, who can, re, um, who else watch the video? No, Who watched the video? No, oh, you teacher. I do. Okay, can you raise your hand if you watch the video? A little bit. Okay, a little bit. Now, um, do you remember the, the part where she yeah. mentioned Toma. that you can use the two Yes. Yeah. Enjoy, love, hate, I can, it's fun. Uh, can you remind me how we use can stand? David, no hable fuerte, no oigo. Pero yo estoy estudiando. ¿Qué tiene? Yo estoy trabajando. Ok, can, can someone, uh, uh, like Maribel was saying, in the video we mentioned, they mentioned the word um, like, love, hate, and can't stand. Can you remind us how we use can't stand? Uh -huh. When do you use that expression? Yo no soporto. I can't stand... I can stand being in a messy. Yeah, okay. I hate it. Okay. Okay, so I you say I can be in a messy. Okay, so I can't stand being messy, right? So there you're using the gerund form, or you can also say I can't stand to be messy. So there, there is an example of how you can use uh, the two different forms. And that's when people sometimes get confused. They say, well, if I can use these verbs with the gerund and I can also use it with infinitive, maybe they think that they can do it with all verbs. And that's mm -hmm. when confusion mm -hmm. comes. And, yeah. and, but that's when you have to be careful with it. Okay. Uh, can someone else give me another example of can't stand? Anybody? I can stand when it's raining. Okay, I, I can, can stand. Okay, fine. Okay, what about something that you guys love? Something that you love. Something that you love doing. I love, I love listening to music. Okay, you love listening to music. And also you can say, I love to listen to, to music. Listen music. And the two options are fine. The two options are good. What about the opposite? What's the opposite of love? Hate. Hate. Hey. Now tell us something that you hate doing. I hate wash dishes. Okay. Or I hate, uh, I hate to wash dishes. I hate washing dishes. Okay, so I think nobody likes doing oh, dishes. I love, I hate I love washing dishes. <laughs> you love, <laughs> you love uh, washing dishes, Marie? Really? Because I like, because I like cooking. Okay. So I have, so I have to wash the, dish, the dishes. <laughs> yes, that's okay. good. 
Uh, I love the cooking part, but not, not the <laughs> washing dishes uh, compliment. Okay. So okay. you like it? Do you like eating? <laughs> I love eating. I love to eat. You, love. Like you have no idea. You know, and the good thing is that I eat everything. I eat whatever they put on the table. I say <laughs> welcome. <laughs> so I consider myself to be a four Pacaya. by four. Pacaya. Uh, except Delicious. that one. I think except that one. <laughs> okay. Me yeah. too. Yeah, but I consider my stomach to be four by four. So, you know, I'm not a picky person. Four by four. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can with everything. Exactly. <laughs> my stomach always <laughs> smiles. <laughs> so I can imagine you never get sick. You know, believe it or not, I never get sick. Thank God. Wow, that is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. Thank God. But, uh, however, I try to watch what I eat, especially like on the streets. You have to be careful mm -hmm. with that, right? Yeah, but when we are when we are hungry, we don't see what we what is in front. Right, <laughs> that's true. It's true. What is on the table? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome exactly. Home. Exactly. It's true. All right. Uh, anybody else wants to give an example about like, love, hate, or can't stand? You know what I hate? Uh, when you have to pay the bills. Oh, sure. Have to, mm -hmm. And you have, to make the, you have to make the line to pay for the bill. Yeah, yeah. that's double sacrifice. Yeah, that is a double sacrifice. I, I just like that. True. True. I like to get, I, I, I don't really like to get the payment, but I don't like to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all like getting paid, but paying bills, <laughs> that's, that's the sad <laughs> part. I love eating, but I hate to getting fast, fat. Okay, good. So you love eating, but you hate getting fat. Okay, yes. good. That's a very good example. I think everybody yeah. loves eating, but nobody wants to gain weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, but we, we all have to sacrifice uh, our bodies if we want to eat well. You know? <laughs> And there, yeah. is a, and there is a little cost that we have to pay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so remember, there is a part in the platform, um, the knowledge check. You guys have to do that um, so you guys can get a grade. You know which part I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when you guys have a homework assignment, um, how? W when do you guys do it? Like today we have the knowledge check assignment uh when do you do that exercise do you do it tonight do you do it tomorrow how, how do you deal with homework because i know that you guys work during the day and many times when you arrive home you you have other things to do so how do you deal how, how do you deal with your homework assignments how do you do anybody mm -hmm. Well, um, I do it in the office. You do it in from, the office. Yeah, yeah. From uh, five five thirty to six thirty or six thirty or until seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maribel. When I'm where, working. <laughs> where do you work, Maribel? At uh, Regal, Marriott City. Okay. Oh, uh, is that the casino? What? Is that a casino? Casino? Yeah. Well, or, or, or where what, I, is, where what, I, is, what is Regal? No, Regal is an enterprise who, who sell vitamins. Oh, okay. Good, good. All right. And where do you live, Maribel? Delgado City. Oh, okay. Good. Fine. Good. So, uh, anybody else? How do you guys do with their homework? Uh, needed? Uh, yeah. Usually, during the lunch, I stay at my office and I do the homework. Okay. Where do you work, Nidia? I work at Central Reserve Bank. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you go to the one near Centro de Gobierno? Yes. On um, Juan Pablo II. Okay. Avenue. 
Yeah, near uh, Universidad Alberto Van Ferrer. Yes, yes. Okay, good. And what about Karen? When, when do you do your homework, Karen? Uh, I will do it at morning, very, very early. Okay. Where do you work, oh, Karen? I work in a shipping company. Okay. And so I go to the office very, very early. Okay, good. Where do you live, Karen? Lourdes, Colón. Oh, really? What part? Eh, Las Arboledas. Ah, okay. And where is? And, and where do you work? Uh, the name of the company is Keen Ocean Services. Okay. It's a shipping company from Miami. Okay. And our offices are at Colón. Okay, fine. Good. Very good. Okay. So, um... Just make sure, this is for everybody, just make sure that uh, uh, you don't miss uh, your homework evaluation so you guys can get a grade when we finish the level. Uh, I have a question. Yes, yes Cecilia. It's, it's, daily, it's daily homework or it's for the week? Uh, that's why I was asking you if you guys, how you guys do it, because sometimes people say, well, I do it the same day, I do it the following day. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that all your homework assignments have to be ready before we finish the level. The problem is if we start accumulating homework assignments, mm -hmm. there is a possibility that at the end, you're not going to be able to finish everything and you might have a, a, a bad grade so, okay. my, so so my suggestion is whenever you have the chance uh do it so that way you get uh that over with okay it, it this is my first day so i am a little confused about everything sure no don't, don't worry don't worry um in any questions you may have feel free um do you guys have my phone number and you're right? Do you guys I have, have another question? Yes, ask me. Uh, when you when you do the, the homework, well, I try to make the the work and I fail. Okay. Then make it again or it, it depends on the exercise. It gives you a second chance. Um, so that's why before you send your answers, make sure that you are very sure about what you're about to send. So in some cases, they give you a second a second opportunity. Okay, and in this case, for the first assignment, do uh, I, I have a second opportunity? I, I think you I do. I, I think you do. I think that there is a second chance for you to do it. But let me verify, and, and I'm gonna check all the activities to let you guys know which ones you have a second chance and which ones you okay. are, you have to be very careful before you send it. Okay, good. Yes. I think we don't have a second opportunity because I, I made it, I don't remember when, and um, I have a bad, bad grade. Okay. And I, I couldn't do anything. Okay, so and which, which homework are you talking about, Nadia? The 1.2? I don't know. It's a it's a test. Oh, the knowledge check. Yes. Okay. Okay. But let me verify so I can give you like real answers, and I'm gonna check to see which assignments uh, you guys have a second chance and which ones you have to be like extra careful so you guys don't get a low grade. Okay. 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 The homeworks are just the evaluations, or there are other things that we have to do. Uh, basically, as you guys know, uh, everything is based in the platform. So just okay. make sure that all the assignments that we have in the platform, you guys um, do it so you guys don't miss a grade. Now, there are many other things that you can do to practice uh, okay. a particular topic, but that will be like something optional. But okay. what you need to make sure that you do is, is the exercises we have in the platform. Okay, thank you. Right. Uh, any other questions that you may have? Anybody else? We didn't know. We didn't know about that 
we have one, two, uh, uh, we know that we have, no, we, we have uh, many opportunities to answer the question. Okay. Not, only, not only two. Right, right. So it, 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 it depends on the exercise. Like I think Nidia was saying, or Cecilia, I don't remember exactly, that she did the exercise, but she didn't get a second chance. Yes, so, ah, I did. Maybe. Yeah, because so, we are in advance, maybe. Right, mm -hmm. and, and, and it depends on the exercise too. In some occasions, you have a second chance. In other cases, you only have one. Okay. Right. Because we are advanced. Right. No. And remember, <laughs> like, like I was telling you at the beginning, it, it, it is okay if we make mistakes. At the end, you are not in this course to get a grade. You are here to practice your listening, your speaking, and, 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 and different things. So don't worry too much about the grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I so just, <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm not saying don't, don't, don't. I mean, like, it, it is important, but this that's not priority. Okay, so <laughs> just make sure that you do the homework assignment in the knowledge check. Now we go to uh, an another topic. Did you guys have the chance um, to check the platform? Well, at the there is a section that is called, how have you changed? Yes. Okay. Do you remember how many tenses there are in English? Anybody? Mm -hmm. You have simple present, simple past, simple future, blah, 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 blah. How many do we have? There are, there are 12 tenses. We have 12 tenses in English. And when you see the question, how have you changed? Which tense are we using? Past tense. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Right. How have you changed? Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about present perfect. Um, when do you use the present perfect? Anybody? Remember that we have 12 tenses. Every tense has a function. Every tense has a different structure. So uh, if we talk about present perfect, what is the function of the present perfect? Something that occurred in the past and, and being continuous in the present. Right, very good. Um, you can use the present perfect in two different scenarios. You can use it like um, Maribel was saying, when you're talking about something that starts in the past, what you're still doing. Let me give you an example. What time did we start the session? About eight o'clock. Okay, eight o'clock. What time is it now? 8.45. Okay, so we say, we have been in the conference for 45 minutes, right? So the conference, the conference began at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock is past tense, but we're still in the conference. So you say we use present perfect to talk about something that starts in the past, but continues up to now. Are we clear on that? Yes. Yeah. All right. There is a, there is a second scenario. Um, have you visited Guatemala before? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay, very good. Yes, I have. That's a nice answer. So you said, well, I have been in Guatemala two times. Are you in Guatemala right now? No, no I'm not. Where are you? No, I don't. I'm in El Salvador. In El Salvador. Okay, very good. So when you say, I have been in Guatemala two times, that means that the action is not finished. 
it can happen again because right now you guys are in El Salvador. But going to, to going to Guatemala can happen again. You see my point? Yes. Okay, yes. so what so once again, you can use the present perfect under two circumstances. When you talk about something that starts in the past and still continues, or when you talk about something that you have done before, you're not doing it at the time you're speaking, but it can happen again. So if they ask you, so what is the function of the present perfect? Something that starts in the past and you're still doing, and also something that you did in the past, you're not doing right now, but you can do in the future. So that means that the action is not finished. So what is the auxiliary we use with the present perfect? Have. Have. Been. Okay, what if I'm using the third person singular? Has. has. Okay, you use has, right. And what happens to the verb, to the main verb? Don't change, don't change. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pass. Past participle. Past participle. Yes, past participle. So remember, uh, when we talk about the 12 tenses, every tense has a particular structure. And um, in some cases, you will use um, the ING form. Sometimes you will use the past form. In some cases, you will use the past participle. So in the case of, uh, uh, of the present perfect, you must use the past participle of the verb, right? Yeah. Okay, so you use have or has plus past participle. Have or has plus the past participle. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Have, have, is, a, have is a moral auxiliary or, or is an auxiliary? I, I know it's an auxiliary. Yes, it is an auxiliary. It no, is it's an auxiliary. Moral. No, no, it's, it's not a moral. moral. No, okay. it's not. No, it's not. Okay. And in the future, we will be talking about models, how you use models in past and all that. So, um, do you guys have teacher, a... Teacher, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Why, why, is, why is, is, is called auxiliary? Why? Like, uh, verb to be is auxiliary, or, or uh, the do, the do, the does. Right. The verb do, it does, they are auxiliary. Yes, the reason why? why you call them auxiliaries is because they are not uh, a verb. Because you can say, I have two children. That's a verb. But if I say, I have seen you before, in that case, it's not a verb. It's an auxiliary because I'm giving it a specific meaning to the verb. So that's why you call it auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Uh, and somebody was raising hand here. Who was raising? Uh, Luis? Luis Masariego? Luis, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you were raising your hand. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh... The negative form of the uh, present perfect is is only to add the the not word. Yes, really? and usually people use the contraction. Uh huh. Yes. So how uh, do you say no he cenado todavía in English? Uh, I have haven't eating dinner okay i haven't I having eaten 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 so you have eat ate eaten eaten right wrote eaten. written get got gotten So yes, when you use the negative, uh, the negative form, um, you say haven't or you say hasn't. Now, something very important. 
uh, you guys need to use contractions because everybody uses contractions, even though they are optional. So if you go to the United States, you go to Canada, uh, gringos are gonna use contractions every time they speak. And sometimes that's the reason why we don't understand them because we are always saying, she has not, I have not. But you want to sound as natural as possible, so it's always good that you use uh, the contraction form. Any, uh, Fernando? Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, do you have a question, Fernando? I see you were raising hand. Um, no, 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 not at all. I'm just uh, following, as you said before, right? Uh, many Americans, they speak with contraction. Mm, right. Uh, we, well, actually, uh, well, I have like almost one year and a half that I haven't been practicing English. So that's the reason why uh, I'm here. But okay. when I work uh, in a call center, uh, it was very difficult to understand at, uh, at the beginning because, uh, as you said, right, uh, most of the Americans speak with contraction and some, some uh, like, I don't remember the, 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 the word exactly, but with, with a slang, I'm sorry, with a slang. They slang. speak with a slang, yeah. And okay. that is the reason why it is very difficult to understand. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Yes. Uh, remember that in this process, uh, you guys have to make a balance. Uh, we have instructional material on the platform, and we also have authentic material, which is movies, music, and all that. So you guys gotta keep it balanced. Don't use only the book, but also watch television, listen to music, and whenever you have the chance to talk with a native speaker, go ahead and do it. That's going to help you a lot. Okay, any other questions or any other comments uh, regarding the present perfect? This is just the introduction. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having more exercises where you guys are going to be interacting among yourselves. So right now it's just, just like I said, the introduction to let you guys know what we're going to be doing. So my suggestion, there are other topics where you will need uh, to be using past participles. Now, present perfect, we can say it's just the first topic where we will use past participles. But past participles will be used in different other um, scenarios. So start working with the right, wrote, written, get, got, gotten, do, did, done. And all those past participles are very useful you'll be surprised to see how much people use it. Anything else about the present perfect? No, not study. Uh, right, you need to. Okay, what about, what about uh, still and yet? Do you remember the differences between still and yet? Anybody? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I think that we can use yet at the end of the sentence. Right. Um, still is, for example, I still watch TV. Okay. Uh, and I can say, uh, I didn't eat yet. Okay, good. Someone else? Uh -huh. Cecilia? Yet is like, uh, todavía no, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. And right. it is like the same. I don't remember how to use it really. Okay, that's okay. Um, someone else wants to help Cecilia and refresh how it works? It will be um, still is for um, positive and yet is for negative. When you okay. are not doing something, it's Yet. Very good, very good. Uh, someone else? Yes, uh, well, yet Fernando. it is normally, yes. Uh, yet is normally placed at the end of the 
of the sentence. Right. Uh, we use this is like an informal English. Uh, uh, also, we I use it in a question. And still, uh, we use all in question <laughs> and also <laughs> a negative sentence to indicate that something yeah. is not finished. Okay, fine. Now, good point. Remember that still and yet, the two options can be used in questions. Um, like, for example, it's just an example. If I said, do you still love your ex? Do you still love your ex? Not no. anymore. <laughs> not anymore, yeah. Okay, not anymore. His history, she's history, right? And I yes. can also say, have you had dinner yet? Have you yeah. had dinner yet? So, have you had dinner yet? That's a question. Do you still not have your ex? Yeah. That's a Not question yet. too. So you can use the two fun the, the two options to make questions. And like you guys were saying, you use yet at the end when something is negative, and you will use still when you are saying something that you continue doing. So I am still at the office. That means that I continue at the office. So uh, tomorrow I will be sharing with you guys a uh, certain documents where we have additional information of how to use the present perfect accurately. Um, do you have any questions or comments about today? Excellent teacher. No. Okay, so before we leave, I want to say thank you for making the time, making the space to connect. I know that you guys have a thousand things to do at home, especially if you have children. And making this space to take the English class, that's a, I know that it's a sacrifice that soon you will see the results. Teacher. Yes, Nidia. I have a question. Yes. You mentioned it, a book. Is yes. a book in the platform? Uh, not exactly. It's um, the, the topics that we see um, are in the platform when they are taken from the book. When, when, when you have the chance to visit the platform, you will see all the topics that we will cover. So feel free to do your own research, to do your own reading. So when we come and have the session, um, everything will be easier. But yes, all the topics that we see here are easily found in other books too. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So if you guys don't have any other questions, I want to thank you again. Uh, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Okay. Right. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you.